I am Renuka Viswanathan. I'm a geriatrician. I'm also the head of unit at the Asian Extended Care Service uh, in Central Adelaide Local Health Network. So frailty is a vul vulnerability to stressors. Um, and a simple way of putting that is um, a person who is frail, uh, if they have an infection, they are likely to have poor health outcomes, while a person who is fitter may not actually experience that poor health outcomes. Uh, so things that uh, you may see um, as people become frail uh, are features such as them slowing down, becoming weaker, less active, losing weight, um, and maybe sometimes it can also be associated with slowing of thinking as well. So there are many things that people can take. A lot of them are lifestyle, so they can take a lot of action themselves. Um, this acronym is really helpful. Uh, avoid, avoid frailty, where A is for activity, V is for vaccination, O is for optimizing medication, so making sure that you're on the tablets that are actually helpful rather than the tablets that cause harm. I is for interaction, so having fun, meeting people, socializing, and finally diet. And in diet, it's important not to focus on losing weight, but, it, it, but to actually focus on building your muscles. Yeah, exercise is one of the best things one can do. It helps in uh, quite a lot of ways. So um, in the first instance, it can help you build strength. If you do strengthening exercise or resistance exercise, it can help improve your balance and reduce your risk of falling. Uh, in terms of aerobic exercise, it can help with your heart um, in your cardiovascular system. Um, importantly, exercising in a group helps with socialize, socializing. So exercise is a good one. But what we also know from some of our work is that sometimes older people equate exercise to a young person running on a treadmill. And that's not necessarily all that exercise is about. So it's, also, it's about activity. So you can actually incorporate it into your daily uh, routines, uh, things like gardening, doing the washing, sweeping the floor, even those things are forms of exercise. Uh, you don't need to get sweaty and be in <laughs> leotards. Uh, and apart from exercising, it's important not to be sedentary. So it's actually about get, breaking those exercises into small periods of time and then getting up and not sitting down all the time. What's important for nutrition is protein and being very careful when trying to lose weight. Um, weight loss has to be done cautiously because uh, inadvertently, it's actually muscle mass that's lost rather than fat mass. So people might intuitively think if I lose weight, I'll lose fat, but in actual fact, they'll lose muscle. Um, so it's much better uh, with diet to combine pro protein in your diet with exercise. And the protein doesn't have to come just from a meat uh, base, it can also come from plant sources. So medications, it's important uh, to look at because not all medication is good. Sometimes medication can cause harm. Um, sometimes some medications actually make you lose your appetite. And if you lose your appetite, you don't feel like eating. So it's important to make sure that the medications that you're on don't affect your appetite, don't affect your muscle, don't cause you weakness. Um, and it's not only just single medications, but the interaction between medications are also important. So speaking to the pharmacist and your general practitioner to, to look at your medications and have them reviewed regularly is very important when it comes to preventing frailty. As you get older, you wouldn't want to fall ill. And vaccination is an important way to prevent illness. So in this era of COVID, COVID vaccination is one thing to think about. But every year, the annual flu uh, vaccination, um, as well as five yearly, the pneumococcal vaccination, are important considerations. Tetanus um, updates, and even thinking about the shingles vaccine is uh, another important vaccination thing to look at. People underestimate the value of social connection, but part of aging well and aging healthily is actually to have fun. 
one has to look at the good things in life and not focus on the negative things. And doing things in company always is beneficial. Um, so for example, if you do exercise in company, you're more likely to stick to it. And there is research that tells us when you eat, eat food in company, you're more likely to eat well than when you eat alone. Seeing a geriatrician can be helpful. Uh, because geriatricians tend to uh, conduct what is known as a comprehensive geriatric assessment. And in simplistic terms, what it is, is uh, it takes a holistic view of the person. Uh, we ask questions about your cognition, your hearing, your eyesight, your physical function, your nutritional health, your physical activity, and so on. So then once we've done that, uh, we, we can come up with a list of issues that we might want to tackle. And when tackling all these issues, then that helps to actually improve health. Because very often when you're older, a lot of things happen at one go rather than a single issue.